Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada. Yeah, Ada continues to be in this same situation. It tries again to leave this support area down here, which we, with this swing low from the 24th of September, we call a wave two. Uh, it's not very aggressive upside movement and it's really, really caught down there and can't really get away from this wave two support area, unfortunately. Well, it's trying again, it's trying again. And um, the situation is basically unchanged. We consider this as a one-two setup, not a very likely one, with a third wave potentially in the making. Again, we can't really trust it due to the overall corrective nature of this entire structure. But there is still a decent chance that from here, the price attempts an E-wave rally. Um, but it needs to hold the 24 cent level for that. So if the 24 cent level is breaking to the downside, then we might see a reset of this D wave. The D wave is the um, is one of the waves within this larger triangle we've been observing. So the triangle is quite huge now. It started in December, A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave. Yeah? And the E wave could be in the making now, but we just have no very not very strong evidence for it. So that's why I'm highlighting here probabilities here are fairly close together. The market is sort of stuck at the moment, it seems. Um, doesn't really make much progress, especially ADA doesn't really make much progress. And from here, as long as it's holding the 24 cent level, which is the 78.6 retrace, um, it can basically, it's at least reasonable to track at least that E-wave. I need to be very careful with my wording here because I don't consider that a highly likely scenario at the moment because it's just that probabilities are so close together here. And that's always the case when we have, um, when we are dealing within these triangle structures or corrective structures, yeah. And especially because ADA isn't really getting off the ground. I mean, even within this scenario, I'm considering this a WXY structure in wave E. The E wave is the last wave of the triangle. And you need to know, most people, most of you know, if you've been watching these videos, that especially corrective structures, we have to expect them to change. That's just what they do. So we just need to be a bit more careful here. And because this is moving within a very complex corrective pattern, WXY, we have to be um, aware that this could easily change. Yeah, for example, um, if we break below 24 cents, then I mean, we're moving in a corrective structure within an even larger corrective structure, which is the Elliott wave triangle. So a break um, below the 24 cent level will most likely lead to a reset of the D wave, which I currently count as complete on the 17th of August, yeah? um, but it could easily extend um, lower. Key is, however, that to make this E wave higher, the price should hold above 22 cents. This is the so-called B wave low, the 10th of June low. So anything below that will not allow us to make an E wave, uh, not in this structure at least, because the triangle would be invalidated. Don't, you know, essentially we are watching for another bear market low. So that our primary wave count is another low. Now, of course, that could happen within the triangle in an ideal world in an E wave, W, X, Y, and then come down, or it could come down more directly, okay? So again, there's there's a bit of whipsaw mo uh, movement at the moment on the Bitcoin chart, but ADA doesn't really participate, shows some slight upside, but that's just too small to be really of relevance. So we'll see. I mean, um, good evidence, yeah, good evidence that this um, third wave of the A wave, <laughs> of the Y wave, yeah, I know it's a lot of waves, um, is starting, that would be a break above this last swing high at 25.8 cents. One word of warning as well, whenever you have so many waves within waves and you have smaller degrees to come and, you know, it's it's a really, really complex structure. I mean, bear in mind, we've got a triangle. We're potentially in the last wave of the triangle. That's a WXY, which is very complex already. Then within that, we've got an ABC. Um, and within that, we're trying to track a one, two setup. So basically when you have too many of those waves within waves within waves, you basically know that the wave count will change. Um, it, it doesn't tell you what's gonna happen though, of course, you know, we can only only go with the most likely scenario and highlight basically an invalidation point, which in my opinion is the 24 cent level. Now that's not really invalidation. Invalidation will only be below the X wave low at 23.6 cents, but we know that we get a sustained break below the 78.6 retrace, 24 cents, most likely it's going to fail. So, you know, you just have to be prepared for this to change. Um, 
especially when you have too many waves within waves within waves. Now we might be able to draw a trend line here. Yes. So Ada is currently testing a trend line there as well. So that might be a reaction here. We might see a reaction here to the downside. We'll see. This is now getting to a decision point. Certainly no highly reliable trade setups here. Really boring the chart at the moment. So we're simply tracking the structures to be able to identify clearer setups. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a setup, but it's. I don't think it's a very clear one. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if the 24 cent level breaks. But, you know, it has a chance from here to rally in a third wave to around about 27 cents and then maybe even climb higher. Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.